Hello, Slicey Dicers. Welcome to Brews and Blades on this March 15th of 2020. Hope everyone is healthy and happy and everything. Let's get your chat up here so I can see what y'all are saying. Dog's barking. Sorry about that. That is not the right video. That was my announcement thingy. Come on. Sorry, sometimes it takes a minute. There we go. And here we are. There we are. Now I can see your chats and all that. Welcome, everybody. Thanks again so much for coming out. Hey, Keith. Uh, Keith is uh, going to be helping me. I appreciate it very much. I brought an additional moderator on. for. We're going to be doing a lot of live shows this week, so uh, needed some help there for everybody to, uh, to help me out with moderation and stuff. I'm hoping we get a whole lot of people on these. I know everybody's stuck in their houses, or a lot of us are anyway. And trying to give you guys some more entertainment and raise a little money for some charity and all that stuff. So uh, I do want to start out just to clarify, um, I don't want to spend this whole show talking about the virus. It's like, yes, we are going to, uh, I am raising money for Food Link New York with this. I'm going to have an auction coming up later. And I'm going to do it at 8.30 Eastern time. So in 29 minutes, I'll start a 20-minute auction for this Spyderco, Spyderco Rex 45 <clears throat> uh, sprint run. So all you got to do is, I'm going to start the clock at 20 minutes, place your bid. I'll do my silly little auctioneer voice. All the money is going to go to Food Link New York. Uh, I live in Rochester, New York, and uh, the big problem with closing the schools here has been, and, and why it took them a while to do it, was uh, a lot of these kids rely on the free lunch program. So uh, Food Link New York is doing a great job of helping to fill that hole. Kids can still go to their schools and get their free lunch and take it home with them. But, you know, a lot of kids aren't going to be able to do that. So uh, they're helping out a whole lot. They're setting up in school parking lots and giving kids three meals a day instead of just the one like they got at school. And also they're doing mobile food pantries uh, to come in. So I said I was going to auction off this knife. Um, tomorrow night, I'm going to auction off this knife. This is the uh, this is Spyderco Embassy. It's the S35 VN. Uh, it was the um, Blade Depot, Blade Ops exclusive. I'm sorry, I think that I got that right. Um, I never really carried it. It was kind of my token auto, but I have another one now, so I'm going to do that. And uh, luckily, uh, after all this, and thank you very much to Southern Edge Knife Works, they saw I was doing this. They thought it was cool. The reason why these two are out is they are going to kick in a smock, not this one. This is mine with custom scales on it, a standard smock. I'll do that on Wednesday, and then on Friday... Auction off a Spidey Chef, courtesy of them. So, hey, Pocket Tank, how's it going, man? Um, and also, in addition to that, all these live shows I'm doing all week, uh, all four of them, all the all the proceeds uh, that you guys do in the Super Chat, which is open, by the way, and click the little dollar sign down there, kicking a few shekels, all that goes to uh, Food Link New York. So, um, I'm just trying to help out as much as I can. There's not a lot I can do. Uh, I can't afford to really give a lot of money myself. Um, I'm trying to stay in the house because my daughter is kind of at risk. She hasn't been exposed or anything, but she has some respiratory issues. I'm trying to stay in the house. So I don't really want to go out and volunteer or anything. But I have, you know, 13,000 of you guys that I can uh, do some cool stuff with. We can have some fun. I can entertain you and also maybe raise some money. So uh, pretty, pretty happy about that. Um, someone did ask back on the topic of knives. Um... I'm going to show that. I don't know why I blocked that out. So, uh, Big Red's here too. How's it going, man? Um, I have, why do I have the Sharp by Design Void out? This is not to tease you. I'm not teasing you for once. Keep an eye out on his channel tomorrow. He said on Instagram, he has a few leftovers and they will be up on, on the Sharp by Design channel tomorrow. So keep an eye out there. Keep an eye out on his Instagram. You may still be able to get one. For once, this is not a tease. That's why I have it out here. So I don't know what the color combos are or anything. He just said that the he was showing one of his custom Void XLs and then just said, oh, and by the way, tomorrow I'm going to be putting up the extras that I have on my site. So keep an eye out if you really want one of these. I think this one was $350, so uh, keep an eye out for that. I assume that's what the price they're going to be. But thank you guys again, everybody, for coming out. And once again, yeah, the Super Chat is open. All it goes to Food Lake New York this week. We'll be done tonight, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Auctions every night. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, tonight's auction starts at 8.30. I'm going to try and come on at 8 with you guys every all, all three days, but um, it, the, I kind of just decided to do this uh, last night and today. So I can't. it's going to be 7, 8, or 9, uh, one of those three. And we will uh, we'll just hang out, have some fun. 
Uh, I am drinking the Mile Wide Beer Company Tessie Northeast IPA. I have uh, never had this before. A nice viewer sent me some beer. Uh, this is, I only have one left after this. It's a full pint. And it says with lactose. So uh, that'll be interesting. Good thing I'm not lactose intolerant much. I mean, if I sit and eat like half a cheesecake, which occasionally does happen, uh, I don't feel so good. But um, other than that, got a lot of the usual crowd. Jacques, Big Red. Zach, how you doing, man? Mmm, that's very good. That is very good. I'm not always a huge IPA guy, but uh, that that actually goes down pretty smooth. Pretty smooth. So, hey, Zach, appreciate it. I'm sure all, all the kiddos will appreciate it, too, or their families, whoever. Food Link doesn't just give food to kids, but that's kind of their primary thing. Uh, Luca De, DeBiase says, I haven't been on a live stream since you got popular. So you haven't gotten, been on a live stream since uh, I was in high school, huh? Huh? I'm sorry. It was an easy joke. Thank you for coming back. I appreciate having you around. 73 on already. That's great. Our record's 132. I hope that one of these, uh, one of these shows, we, we crack over that. That would be awesome. Um, and I have a reason to use all the TP with that, that extra lactose. Yeah, it's funny. I, this is, this is kind of, I said I didn't want to talk about the virus the whole time, but this is a funny story. So like we were at Costco a week before all this hit the fan and, uh, my wife insisted that we needed more toilet paper. And I was like, no, we don't. I know we have like, like 12 or 18 rolls of toilet paper. I know we do. I know we do. And uh, she insisted. And we bought one of those big giant pallet things of toilet paper. And then I was like, oh. And then now that this happened, I'm like, wow, you were right. I guess we did. I got home and was like, ha ha, see, we have 18 rolls of toilet paper. Now we have a lot. So, um, yeah. Uh, what's the sharp by design IG? I think it might be Brian Nadeau. I can't remember. It might be by his actual name. If you just search, if you just search sharp by design Instagram, you'll probably find it. Uh, Pocket says, Brian, do you think they'll cancel Blade Show? God, I hope not. I mean, I don't know. It, who knows? This is a new world. I know they're saying they aren't going to. Um, they've been very public about that, but it might not be their decision. You know, you'll see what the city of Atlanta decides to do or the state of Georgia decides to do. But God, I'd hope this dies down by June, but we will see. It's uh, early June. Uh, T-Rex is what, June 5th, 6th, and 7th, something like that. Um, hopefully, hopefully. I'm still planning on it, so uh, but I did get a, I did make sure I got a room that I'm paying it when I check in. I didn't pay in advance, so um, and I'm driving down. So, uh, Jack, they're drinking the Genesee Springbok. Mm, oh, how is that? I've been wondering about that one. I see it. I like the Winterbok, but I don't know how the Springbok is. Is it the same stuff just out in the spring? Freedom Van says, "Enjoy my fave Bell's Two Hearted IPA." while doing some reporting for work. So yeah, uh, two hard IP is very, very good. I hope not. I want to meet all you crazy guys. Poc yeah, I would like to meet you too, Pocket Tank. So um, uh, John M. Walker says, uh, knife auction, closest thing to sports I can watch. You know what I watched tonight that I did not know was a thing? I was watching a car auction, I, ironically, also an auction. And the next thing on NBC, M M NBC SN was uh, Ice Cross. I've never seen that before. They send like four guys down this crazy downhill ice thing on skates in hockey gear, and they just pound the snot of each other until they get to the bottom. It was freaking awesome. They had like 50 miles an hour. Of course, it's invented in Canada, but uh, it was really cool. And of course, it's sponsored by Red Bull, but it was pretty awesome. I have to say, Ice Cross, I'm a fan now. Lucas says, I'm drinking water as I'm under 21 still. Well, you'll get there someday. We all do. Hello, Andrew. How's it going? Okay, 89 of you on here. I'm 21 minutes away from starting the auction for this really cool sprint run. Yeah, Bob, I'd never heard of it before. It just came on after the Mecham auction, and I was like, holy crap. I think um, I think that's something that, as a younger man, I would have liked to have done. That looks... I can't skate to save my life, but... uh. Rundum CAC 11. How are you feeling about the ZT03, ZT308 now? I ordered mine on accident and ended up liking it way more than I expected. You ordered it on, you ordered a $300 knife on accident? We'll just let that slide. I'm not going to comment on that. But no, I actually do like it. This is a loaner from USMA Blade. Um, it went through Metal Complex before me. Um, 
it's it's pretty cool. I do have to say, I don't want to like it. I still think it's a bit heavy. I still think the hole is stupid, uh, but there's a whole lot to like about it. You'll see a review of this up uh, tomorrow. So um, uh, yeah, tomorrow morning, actually. I'm gonna try and do multiple, multiple uh, videos uh, just during this week to keep everybody entertained because I know a lot of us are stuck at home. So uh, I thought, so I'm gonna do a review tomorrow morning, live show tomorrow night, and a review right after that. So um, yeah, uh, it, it's it's all right. You know, it's just heavy. I don't like the hole, but man, the ergos are really good. Blade's great. You know, action's okay. It's got a bit of a stiff D10 on this one. How's the D10 on yours? Uh, Rundum Cac 11. I'm wondering about that because if it's just this one or what. If this isn't mine or I'd tear it apart and I'd probably just back the D10 off a smidge. And welcome, Danny. Glad you could make it. I enjoy the extra content. Much appreciated. Yes, BD Sway. I'm doing my best. You were one of the people who, who asked me, hey, are you going to do more live shows this week? I think you were like the third person to ask me. And I was like, yeah, you were the one that pushed me over the edge. Where I'm like, yeah, I should probably do that. That's something I can do to help out. I can't do a lot. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a medical professional. I'm definitely not like a contagious disease expert, but I can make stupid knife videos. So um, give you guys something to do. How does the... 308 compared to the Formax size wise. Yeah, let's, I'll bring that out. I have the Formax right here, actually. Um, I just got it back. Uh, Nick Shabazz had it for a while. I loaned it to him. But remember, we're auctioning off these three. Well, not this one. I stock one of these. Thank you, Joseph. I appreciate it. And also, I saw you, Big Red. Remind me your email address. Shoot me an email and I will send. I got just got approximately an ass load of uh, stickers. So, um, yeah, so tomorrow night auctioning this. Uh, Wednesday night, auction a stock, one of these, without the micarta scale. And uh, Friday night, one of these, but not a filthy one. This is mine. This is my most abused knife, by the way, guys. Um, I really abuse the hell out of this thing. So it's always my Spidey Chef. Is That's what they're made for. If you tell me that it's corrosion and rust resistant, I am not going to take care of it. That's just how my brain works. So, um, yeah, that gets pretty beat up. Tonight, we are auctioning off this. Thank you very much, Joseph. I appreciate that very much. The very generous donation for me. I really appreciate it. Uh, it. In about 18 minutes, I will start the bidding on this. We're on the bidding for uh, for 20 minutes. I'll explain it again at 8.30, but this is a Rex 45 Sprint Run with the burnt orange scales from uh, from Despider Co. We'll leave this out just to keep reminded. But somebody asked about the 4MAX in this, so it's big. It's not as big as a 4MAX, obviously, but it's... Uh, I guess you'd say closer than you think. It's a big sucker for absolutely sure. So absolutely sure. It's a big one. Hey, Bionic, how you doing, man? I love stupid knife videos. Yes, yeah, so do I. That's why I make them. But, uh, and I have not forgotten. I told somebody on, I posted a thing on the community page. If you don't look at the community page on this channel, if you're a big fan, please check that out. Cause I do, I do remind people. I have not forgotten about Idiot with a Bala song. I still have this, I'm still playing with it. Uh, but given the current situation, my life has been very complicated the last week. Nobody's sick. It's just my wife works in education adjacent. And, you know, my daughter not knowing what's going on with schools, not knowing what's going on with my wife's job. Uh, I just, I have not been, not been playing with this as much as I should to give it a, give it full justice. I can do one trick with it, which I can't possibly do on camera with this angle. But um, the, honestly, oh, thank you very much, Free State. That is awesome. Really appreciate it. I uh, can't say, but there's a, a, here's a bit of a kick in the feeding for those who are negatively affected. Also, I got a TRM Adam in the mail a couple days ago, and man, I do get the hype. Stay healthy and well, my friends. Yeah, TRM Adam will keep you. If you're stuck in your house for a couple weeks, that'll keep you occupied. That's a great freaking knife. Just had mine in my pocket on uh, Friday. Um, but no, I'm still playing with this. Honestly, the only thing I don't like about carrying it is just it's big and uh, no pocket clip. And those two things combine to make it really annoying to carry. If I just put it in my pocket, it just kind of falls around. So um, it's a lot of weight just falling around. Yeah, and everybody, wash your damn hands. Even if you're just on here. Some Somehow I feel like maybe it can go through the computers. We don't know anything about it yet. Wash your damn hands. Um, I missed... I got your Super Chat donation, CA, but... Oh, Canadian dollars. That's what it was. Okay. I guess I did respond to it. Oh, stupid knife video for a great cause. Yes. Thank you. It is a great cause. And you know, I'm in New York. We're close to Canada. So I'm assuming you're Canadian since you paid Canadian dollars, unless maybe that's just your preferred currency. Uh, Bionic Man says, I've washed my hands six times today. Is that enough? 
I don't know how many times we're supposed to. I've lost track. I know it's 20 seconds, but uh, which is a lot longer. I've never properly washed my hands, I guess, in my entire life until this happened. Because every time I wash my hands, I'm like, God, I've never done this before. What are you doing with that knife from the Shabazz live stream? Oh, it's going on my keys. Absolutely. <laughs> yes, wash everything, everybody. Yeah. And that whole don't touch your face thing, man, that's been weird. I'm trying to remember not to do that, but um, probably not enough, but my wheelchair wheels are always dirty. <laughs> um, working in the kitchen is just normal for me. Yeah, I wonder what's going to happen. My my son, well, one of his, he has two jobs. One of his is working at a kitchen at the comedy club. I don't know what's going to happen there if the state tells we can't. Let's stop talking about that. I said don't talk about it, and I'm the one talking about it. What the hell's wrong with you, Brian? Um, I refuse to do traffic stops here <laughs> close to Disney. I don't blame you, Pocket Tank. It make mine nervous, too. So, um, bigger DC. I wash my hands to Freebird. I think I'm down to the fourth layer of skin by now. Yeah, my hands are very, uh, very well exfoliated. Um, going on your keys with a coup. No, I did not take that coup on. If you guys have not watched on Nick Shabazz's channel, by the way, if you want an, uh, what was that? Almost two hours of just stupidity. Uh, he, somebody sent him eight pounds of knives that have been confiscated by the TSA. And there was some glorious garbage in there and I'm getting one of them. So, uh, I'm, I'm happy to have a, a little pink hidden key knife, which is actually totally illegal for me to put on my keys. I'm not going to put it on my keys. Those, those, this guy's knives are completely illegal in uh, in New York, unfortunately. I used to have them. I didn't know they were illegal. I've been carrying one of the SOG ones for a long time, and then I found out they are they are legal. Um, here's a, 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 a related topic. By the way, The Void, go get one tomorrow. Keep an eye out. He's, he's got a few left, so keep an eye out on the Sharp by Design webpage. Get it. Get, get it. It says out of stock right now, but check tomorrow. He said he's putting more up tomorrow. So uh, keep an eye out there if you want one. Because I know every time I bring this out, some people get upset because they can't get them. I've been keeping it hidden to not tease you guys too much, and now uh, they're available. But speaking of New York knife laws, I can't carry an automatic outside of my house. So luckily, I got an S ProTech SBR back. I'm allowed to own one, just not allowed to carry one. And uh, since I can't leave my house much, yeah, this has been in the pocket a whole lot. Because <laughs> I really love the SBR. I love the Ergos. I love the Blade. I just love so much about this, and it's great. Uh, what's the blade length in Rochester? Four inches. Uh, it depends on the neighborhood. Uh, the city, the the state is does not have one technically for folding knives, but for fixed blades, it's four inch, and a lot of cops go by the four inch. So I just stick with the four inch. But in downtown, downtown Rochester, it's three inches, but it's actually a very small amount, and it's just a city ordinance violation. If you get caught with one, it's not a uh, like this would be a, a much bigger deal. Um, if you get caught with a knife over three inches, it's just basically a traffic ticket. Um, I hate to shove it in, but there's... Oh, shove it. Yeah, you said shove it in. That's very aggressive. I feel violated. I hate to shove it in, but there is no such thing as a legal knife in Texas. I know, Danny, but then around it is Texas. So, no, I actually don't hate Texas. I really thought I hate Texas, and I spent some time there. And, you know, it's not that bad. I actually don't mind Texas much at all. I like Kentucky, too. Kentucky's a nice place. I hate to shove it in. You should have said your face, which I guess is still just as bad, but I wish I wish I understood the law that says you can own an auto but not carry because you are allowed to carry it if you are hunting or fishing. So therefore you're still allowed to own one. And I have a fishing license, but I don't fish. I, I don't think I've fished since I was maybe for at least 20 years. Um, uh, probably more than that. And so I have a fishing license, I'm allowed to own one, but you're not allowed to carry it unless you are in the act of hunting or fishing. So, um, yeah, you can't just like have, have a fishing license to carry one, which is kind of what I thought it would be. Uh, but, um, can't do that. So <laughs> I thought, well, I'll throw some tackle in the back of my car or whatever, and just say, you know, that I'm fishing. And they were like, no, we'll, we will, we'll, that's not going to work. Uh, pocket tank. Only one knife, what would it be? I did that a while ago, and at that time it was the uh, TRM Atom. I, I think I'd probably still say that. Um, brass Knuckles were legalized a few months ago. We got Ballot Songs back a little while ago. We got Gravity and Eyes back, um, but they haven't even voted on anything with the autos, so 
I really hope they do, but... Officer, I'm just hunting fish. Yeah, Earl, that's what I thought. One of my cop buddies was like, nah, you wouldn't wear that. <laughs> yeah, one of my cop buddies actually said, if you're going to carry an auto, just make sure it's a really nice one, and that way we'll just take it from you instead of writing you the ticket. Because if they write you the ticket, then it's evidence, and they can't just steal it from you. But, um, and I only have nice ones. I've just got, you know, the Protec and the, for right now, the Spyderco, but that's that's going away. Oh, and I have a Kershaw Launch 9, too. Um, stop giving good consumer advice with the void. <laughs> I'm trying to stick to my list. I, you need one. Andrew, as Ferris Bueller would say, if you have the means, I highly recommend one. How can you not want this? Oh. Uh, Joseph asked, does that ZT feel like seven ounces? Every bit of it. Yes. Every bit of it. Um, I have a Boker Kihan Auto, but that, that Ocon says, I have a Boker coming tomorrow, too, with some other stuff. Um, I got under review, and uh, the guy sent it to me and just insisted that I also try this new Boker Automatic. I can't remember what it is. It looks like a more kind of tactically bigger one, but um, I got that coming. And a uh, Cold Steel Air Light. I know you guys have been asked about that. At the Tonto, that's only what I get my hands on. And um, a, uh, oh, I have the uh, Civivi Asticus, which we are not going to make a joke about. I'm going to do a whole very serious video on the Civivi Asticus where I don't point out the phonetic pronunciation of the name because I'm a grown-up, and I have discipline, and I'm not going to do it. Um, I got one of the uh, Damascus uh, carbon fiber ones. How's the detent on the 0308? Pretty stiff, honestly. Uh, if it was mine, I would back it off a bit, but it is not. So, um, uh, And then I've got uh, also sometime this week, I think this week, I've got the Wee Knives uh, MRF that uh, flipper slip jointy thing, uh, with the pot clip and all that and the marble carbon and the very pretty one. So I'm excited about that. Um, any word when CV released the Elementum again? I don't know. Um, no, Bob, I would pronounce it slightly different than that. I would, I, I think it's asked, it's like, you know, they're asking you to do a thing to a thing. It's kind of how I, I think of when I hear the word Asticus and I did look it up and no, that is how you pronounce it. I thought, oh, maybe it's a Stikas or something, and we're just all pronouncing it wrong. Nope. That's not. Uh, Christian asked, have you seen the Southern Grind Quill? Seems Yeah, they are cool. Um, I've almost gotten one several times. I, I play one at Blade Show. They're pretty neat. Um, I like Southern Grind stuff, and the Quill is pretty cool. Very sleek and uh, pokey-looking thing. Um... I feel like I should say bless you every time you say that. Yeah. Asticus! Asticus! I shouldn't do that. Somebody's going to come and take me out of my house and get me put a mask on or something. It, is, it, does, it does sound like a gazoon type. Um, I read it as ass to kiss, but um, which maybe that's that's kind of what I feel like with Sabibi. They come out with so many cool knives, maybe I feel like I kind of am. Maybe it's kind of a joke that we're just not all getting. Because they do come out with so much good stuff. Uh, kiss what? Yeah, I don't know what, what that could possibly mean. I mean I'm not going to joke about it during the video. I'm not going to do it. It's not going to be 10 minutes of nothing but butt jokes because I'll probably keep the video to about 8 minutes. So, um, yeah. I think that's what everybody reads it as, too. It's it's just funny. <laughs> it's just, why would you pronounce it that way? Yeah, 114 watching. Cool. Awesome. Very happy about that. Uh, what up, Slicey? What are you carrying now as of right now? Right now in my pocket, C is... Uh, I had the ProTech earlier, but, uh, but the... I just saw this, and I haven't carried it in a while, and I just saw it, and it's pretty, and I picked it up. So I've got my half-track, Morning. U.S. Amy Blade exclusive one. Um, I really like it. So, uh, Triple EDC, what is your go-to stand-up joke? Um, I'm going to, yeah, I'll tell you my, this is my usual opener. It's just because you got to have like an opening joke that's good, you know, and um, 
So my usual opener is, you know, I'm usually at, at clubs and everybody's drinking. So I'm like, hey, everybody drinking tonight? And you get a bunch of drunken, woo, boo, and you're like, yeah, yeah. And I said, um, so, you know, I was having my, I'm drinking a bit too. I have my usual pre-show ritual, a double shot of bourbon and a beer. And, you know, my, uh, my buddy said, man, you sure do drink a lot. And I said, um, well, uh, you know, uh, my grandfather would be 88. And he said, oh, he drank a lot too. And I said, no, he just knew how to mind his own goddamn business. Just shut up and let me do what I got to do. That's my opening stupid little joke. You just have to have a stupid little opening joke. So um, it's a variation on a really ancient old Irish joke. So um, it's not exactly like 100% mine, but it, it's about something completely different. But it's just a variation on an old, an old like really old Irish joke. You'll get the belly update when my life returns to normal and I can actually use it like a proper person. I actually got to carry it like out of the house and really use it like I would a normal knife for only about three or four days. So, um, the only thing I don't, it bruises the shit out of my knuckles. I'll tell you that the, the, the real belly people who know what they're talking about, who said it was a bit heavy. Yeah, they were right. Um, it's, uh, you flip this sucker open sometimes and, uh, it just whacks you really good and whacks a knife sometimes if you're in front of a camera and being a dumbass. This thing is so much bigger than you expected every time it opens, but it whacks my knuckles sometimes. I don't like that. I don't care for that. Um, I'm considering the best tech engine once I saw your review on it versus the Fox series. The engine's a great knife. It would have been on, if I still had one, it would have been on my top 15 fifth pocket knives video I did the other day. So, um, uh, hey, Dante, I made the live stream. I saw a video that the Rex 45 is a fair bit lighter with the internal milling. Can you tell the difference? I don't have one to compare it to, so I don't know. But it is milled out a whole lot. But um, I don't have a regular one to compare it to. So, unfortunately, at the moment. Yeah, knife enthusiast. Yeah, according to the net, Asticus is Greek and means of from a city, which is interesting because it's a very big knife that will be illegal in a whole lot of cities. But what as? Um, what about your favorite ZT? It's the 0562 tie is my favorite. <laughs> By a lot. BD Swam says, Battle of Songs are a young man's game. I am learning that. But I will say, these are the only two cuts I've gotten. That's it. Not bad. Not bad. Not, not going to complain about that. So, um, you left best text out of your fifth pocket knife review because it, I said they were the ones that I have and I don't have any at the moment. There are a couple cool ones. The tulip, I actually I don't like the tulip that much. I can't say that. I did handle the tulip and I planned to really like it and I didn't care for it that much. But the engine and goblin are both great. Uh, but I don't have them right now. So that's why I didn't put it on. Uh, how many knives are in your collection? Uh, too many. Uh, 90 something, but a lot of them are going away. Uh, if Blade Show is going to happen, a lot of them before Blade Show are going away. For sure. What do you think has been the worst name given to a decent knife? I'm pretty sure that Asticus is going to be it. Although, who is it? Is it who has the new one coming? It's called the Eye of Ra. Is that Best Tech or is that also? No, I think it's Best Tech, the Eye of Ra. That's pretty bad. Weenar, also not great. Um, you should check out the Ria Iron when they jump. I got a proto, and it's a freaking fantastic knife. I will I'll keep an eye out for that one. Um, I have to sell some knives. Is Reddit a good place, Bobby? I, I've never used Reddit, but I'm thinking about doing it. Yeah, so uh, Ikuchi, yeah, that's a bit, a bit odd. But yeah, the Eye of Ra looks so cool. I don't want to carry a knife. What, what brand is that? Or what knife is that? It's called an Eye of Ra. I feel like I would just be ashamed. Yeah, but Weenar is, is pretty bad. Just popped in. What is that Model ZT? It's an 0308, one of the new ones. It's a big stonker, as you can see, because it's next to a freaking Formax. And it doesn't look ho horribly out of place. Oh, <laughs> uh, what about Viper knives? I've had pretty bad luck with Viper knives, to be honest with you. Um, I, there's a couple that I do want to try again, but I've had two, and they were not good. Um, although I have a couple of, uh, giant mice, giant mouses that, uh, were probably made by them, but, um, we don't know is them or Fox or somebody over there, but now they've all switched to Riot. So I think all the future, all the new models coming are going to be made by Riot. So that's cool. Can you bring out the chief? I will in a bit. We're about ready to start the, uh, the bidden. So, um, 
as soon as it turns 8.30 on mine, uh, we're just going to start that. And then all you got to do is just bid in here, type in your bid. I'll give a starting number that I'll come up to as soon as I start it. I'm still not even sure. Um, just put your bid. I'm running for 20 minutes. We're bidding for this Spyderco Rex 45 Manix 2. All the proceeds are going to Link New York. So this is all just for charity. We will have more charity auctions this week as it goes on. I'll recap those again at the end. I'm going to be live uh, tonight, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. It's all for charity. And anything in the Super Chat, by the way, when I click the button, click in a few shekels, that's all for charity as well. And then uh, for Food Link New York to help kids that aren't getting their free lunches so because they're out of school for God knows how long. So it's all for charity. Starting the bid at... I'm going to start the bid slightly under what they went for. I think they went for 125 or 130 So we'll start the bidding at 100 bucks. So starting now, 100 bucks. put your bids in. I'm going to keep an eye out. We got 110 opening bid from Luca. Thank you very much. 120 from Ocon. Hey, got to do the got to do the voice. I like doing the auctioneer voice. I know you guys hate it probably, but it's fun for me. And we got 135 from Luca. So got a uh, key there. It was a bit late on there. Anybody else, anybody else, 135, we can still talk about other stuff while we're doing this. I'm not just going to do that. Zach, you're way late on the 110, man. Uh, 140 from Keith. And Keith is helping me out on moderating tonight, but he cannot make himself win this unless he just bids the highest. So <laughs> I'm keeping an eye on you, Keith. Uh, Luca, 145. Nick Robinson, new better, 150. Thank you, Freeman Van. I appreciate that. Ocon 7 says 120 is in toilet paper. Depends on how much toilet paper. Uh, 151, uh, we're going to do, um, we're going to say from here on out, I didn't say that before, but from here on out, uh, we're going to do, uh, let's do $5 increment bids. So, uh, just to, just to keep it easy to keep track of some people bid like pennies extra. I always forget to say that. So, um, wish I could bid, but it turns out cancer treatment is expensive. Oh, sorry about that, man. Brian, hope everything goes well for you. Jerry Bottoms, 155. Is your real name Jerry Bottoms? As a guy whose name is Brian Ball, I sympathize with you if your actual Christian name is uh, is Brian Bottoms. Braden says 800. Is that an actual bid? Say if that's an actual bid. If that's an actual bid, um, then, uh, then that'll be that. I was going to say no. I didn't think that was an actual bid. Only put actual bids on, guys. We're trying to do something nice for charity. So we still have Jerry Bottoms at 155. Uh, no, it's, uh, this is not a proprietary pivot. This is a, um, uh, it's, uh, you use, uh, two half-inch wrenches. So, um, yeah. I, it seems like it'd be kind of fiddly holding it to get it apart, but it's meant to be taken apart with two half-inch wrenches. I guess it's one of the other ZT models used to do that, too, so. Um, so I have 155 to Jerry Bottoms. 160 to Miko 411. Why does ZT have a thing for wrenches? I don't know. It's a historical thing, I guess. I guess they used to. Jeremy Russell, 150. Nope, that's not the highest right now. We still have Jeremy Russell, 200. There you go. That's our highest now. There we go. That's more about what I was expecting this thing to get. So I'm happy with that. Jeremy Russell is the leader now. I'm actually going to get out a pen because you guys are voting fast and furious. I'm actually going to keep track so I don't have to scroll back. Jeremy. 200. And once I say who won here at the end, just email me. I'll give you payment instructions. SliceDacy75 at gmail.com. Um, uh, let's see how I question. Is the ProTech up for auction? No. No. I had one before. I sold it. And I felt stupid. And now I have another one. So, no. I will not. I don't know why I'm using a baby voice right now. I like that noise. I can't, it's it's hard to, once you've had a ProTech, it's hard to live your life without one. I just, I've had this thing forever and I still almost drop it every time I open it. I haven't had this one forever, but I had, between the two, I've had a lot of months with a SBR and still it's just, bang. Uh, I love that knife. You should, Keith. The SBR is awesome. I tell a lot of people, if you could have one auto, that's my favorite I've reviewed so far. But I have not reviewed a, Microtech OTF. So just join the stream. What is the knife up for auction? It is this Spyderco Rex 45 Sprint Run Manix 2 with the burnt orangey scales. And uh, the current bidding is $200 to Jeremy Russell. 
all protects will be. And we just broke our record, too, by the way. 134 watching, so thank you very, very much. Uh, the Magic is very nice. Yeah, I want to try one of those. Uh, does your SBR have any side-to-side -side blade play? Nope, not a bit. Neither did my previous one, either. This is my second one, so... Previous one I got at Blade Show, and they just... It was, like, the one of the last ones they had available, so it was green with a stone wash blade, or black wash blade, and I didn't really care for it, so uh, I got the color that I wanted. Almost missed it. Libby, there you go. Yep, we're at 200 bucks right now, so, um... On the Spider Co., which is honestly about what they're going for on eBay. I did look them up. 202, we're going in $5 increments, man. So, uh, $200 for the Rex 45 sprint run. Uh, Braden Marcelet, is that is that an actual an actual bid? Because I aren't you the guy who bid 800 earlier and you we were trying to be funny? Sorry if that's uh, if it wasn't you. There's a lot of people talking. Just only make serious bets, guys. Or bids, not bets. Whatever. Yeah, he's just being a troll. We're done with that. Bye bye. We're trying to do a nice thing here. I don't feel like dealing with that, so. Um, he is gone now. He will no longer bother us. Uh, do they still do the green version? I don't know. What is Rex 45? It's a steal. It's a, a very high premium, uh, like, tool -y kind of steal. Um, I'm uh, carrying a TRM Nerd for dinner with my grandparents. I have my Nerd out here because I had it out for that pocket knife video. It is very, very cool. Fifth pocket knife video. I guess all my knives are pocket knife videos, technically. Um, yeah, watch the Cedric Nita video on X45. It's pretty impressive stuff for sure. And Spyderco is doing a few sprint runs of it. It may wind up being a production steal for, for Spyderco. They, they said that in some videos. I'm not just pulling that out my arse. So, um, yeah, so we still have 13 minutes left and we are currently at, this is still the $200 because yeah, somebody said 202, but it's $5 increments. So yeah, we're still at 200 to Jeremy Russell. Here's his rosewood. I love it. Yeah, it's very, very pretty. Um, I don't own a ZT right now, but I need one. It's a good, I, I like ZT a lot. I know some people don't, I haven't been as super impressed with a lot of their designs lately, but they've had a couple new ones. And, you know, at least they're doing some actual new ground-up stuff instead of just, um, you know, rehashes of their old stuff. So, 4Max or 8010 for your weekend yard knife. Oh, for the yard, the 4Max. But for actually just carrying around, uh, definitely the, um, definitely the, uh, yep, the 8010. Um, which knife's being bid on? It is this, the Rex 45 Sprint Run Spider Co. Manix 2. It's currently at $200. Um, Jaris, I'll send you a ProTech Magic review if you really want to share. I'll let you know. Um, especially if you win this knife, then we'll be having an email conversation tonight, and we can chat about it then. And the ZT0393, and I usually like it, but usually not too excited by ZT0393 is great, Ocon. I really, I kind of miss mine. Uh, but I had one with the S35VN, and I sold it, and I was going to get one of those glow-in-the-dark ones, even though I don't like glow-in-the-dark, because it was not glowing, it looks cool. I just never did it. I kind of got more into proper hinderers now, so I kind of just didn't get one. Um, is the small knife on the table a best tech? Are you talking about this? No, this is a uh, hinderer half track. Definitely not a best tech. There's anything wrong with best tech, but that's cost like three best techs. Um, is he the 0620? Catches my tactical thirst knees. Uh, I, that doesn't the 0620 doesn't ring a bell. Just um, yeah. So all this goes to charity, by the way, guys. So, um, how much is this? I think this one's four twenty five. I think about four twenty five. Um, and, uh, yes, it is a pretty knife. I do like it. A lot. And this one actually is a USMA blade exclusive with the with the Warncliffe blade. They usually have a they have different blade shapes, but um. Uh, how do you like the orange scales on this? Uh, they don't look as orange in person as they do on camera, I have to say. They look kind of more just as like a generic sort of earth tony. It's weird, like even looking in the, in the camera on my phone, they look different than they do on there. So, um, 
on a ZT0609. Thoughts? I had an 0609, but I, I know I've had one, but I can't remember which one it is. Put your put names on things, guys. Uh, ZT, put names on them so I can remember what they are. The 0609. Is that the one with the see-through pivot? Because I really did like that one. Uh, why haven't you dyed your roadie purple? That's a good question. Can't really... I don't have a good answer for you, man. I have the dye and everything. Um, there's another question I want to answer, but I lost it. So, uh, oh, somebody said you can um, you can dye the scales. And this, yeah, you can, but it's a sprint run. I wouldn't do that because you, you might want to resell it someday. Yeah, the 0609 was great. It was a really good. I thought that's the one it was. That was really great. I really liked it. Missed mine quite a bit. May that may be in the reacquiry pile because I, I did really like that, and I have the tool and everything, so I can take it apart. Um, a couple questions about Chris Reeves. I do not currently have one. I did have a Sabenza twenty one, and I am getting a thirty one, but I don't know when it's going to be. So, um, what's the best way to color the Zytel paint? No, 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 no. Uh, Rit dye more. It'll it'll actually have some of it right here because I was dying stuff the other day. Um, this brand will color anything. It's the, the synthetic. You want the Rit Dymore synthetic. And I can demonstrate. Be, demonstrate. I have an accent all of a sudden. Bidding is still open on this, by the way. We're at $200 for Jimmy Russell for the Rex 45 Spider-Go. Um, but uh, no, this was white. This was my Stormtrooper uh, bug out. And I used this very bottle. And I boiled it up like it said. And I dunked it for about... um. I don't know, maybe 40 seconds, 45 seconds, longer than it normally takes, honestly. And uh, it came through. 205, Jeremy Bottoms is our new bid. New winner. Not winner, but new, new leader. In the back of the room, I'm just going to assume you're sitting in the back of the room. Is the dye permanent wear? No, it's very, very permanent, man. It will not wear off. Uh, Winkler knives, don't know what that is. Um... I actually thought your new Benchmade that you died would have been purple. I thought I was going to Bionic, man. I really was. And then Lavender Pants beat me to it. And he had one all over Instagram. It was all purple. And then I thought, I want the Sith Trooper bug out. So that's why I did it. Because it was a Stormtrooper. Now it's a Sith Trooper. So I'm sticking with the Star Wars theme. Or Deadpool, whatever you want. But you can't deny it. it came out pretty badass looking. Quite happy with it. Quite, quite, quite happy with it. Um, let's see, color my Dozier Hunter, the orange is a little too flashy. Yeah, some, and the Rick Dymore too, it, I can't say it doesn't matter what color it is underneath. It does matter a bit, but it doesn't matter as much. So like, if I put this on like an OD green, it probably wouldn't, it wouldn't come out nearly as bright red as the white does. Um, but it seems to tolerate stuff. Like if it's even just tan, it'll come out pretty pure to the color that you, that you want it to come out to. Um. Slicey, slicey purple is superior to all their purples. I concur, Bionic Man, I concur. Uh, how do you like the Austin Steel? It seems pretty tough. I, I This was gone for a while. It was off with uh, with Nick Shabazz, so I didn't get a chance to really beat on it, but um, it seems pretty good. It's cold steel. They heat tree stuff so good. When I get a cold steel, I almost don't even care what steel it is on it because they usually do an acceptable job. But Jeremy Bottoms, $215 is our leader for the Spetico Rex 45 Manix 2. Uh, brand new in the box. Never carried, only opened a couple of times. Is that knife huge? Yes, it is. Oh, that knife is huge. I thought you were asking a question. I was like, no, that's, yeah, the Formax is a gigantic sucker. 10.2 ounces of manliness, I guess. In my pocket, there's a question mark. Manliness? I don't think anybody looks me, so that's a manly man. I have been called ruggedly handsome, which I do like that, but, uh, it was my mom. No, I'm kidding. It wasn't my mom. It was a civilian, normal person. Um, they just did more pair of three Rex 45 at Cutlery Shop. Missed them literally today. Yeah, I saw that they were coming out with those today. Were those ones with the mismatched scales? Didn't they do one that was like an OD green on one side and orange on the other? And I wish companies would do more white FRN so lighter dye colors were more achievable. Yeah, I kind of wouldn't mind that. But not white. White was kind of silly. Yeah, it is hunty looking stuff, but then it's a pair of three. If I'm, I used to hunt. I don't anymore, but I want a knife bigger than a pair of three. Uh, what else we got up here? 
Sure, you're gonna dye it purple, but I like the promotion from Stormtrooper to Sith Trooper. Yes, August. I gave him a promotion. That's what it was. He worked hard. He's been in a lot of comparison videos. He's stuck with that white armor for a long time, and uh, he deserved deserved an upgrade. So not that not the Sith Troopers don't get whacked like crazy in the last movie too, but uh, I think they probably survive longer than the Stormy. Two twenty five. Jeremy Bottoms. Bidden to guess himself, but not gonna complain. Again, uh, we're gonna close this at uh, in five minutes. So you got five minutes left to bid on this Manix Two Rex Forty Five Sprint Run from Spider Co. Two thirty to Jeremy Russell. And uh, what, at the end, I'm gonna say who won, and then you are going to email me at sliceydicey seventy five at gmail dot com, and I'll give you payment instructions. And all of it goes to Food Link New York to help help the kids that don't have access to their free lunches. One Jeremy to win it all. <laughs> Battle of the Jeremys. Oh, I I thought Jeremy Bounds was bidding against himself, but it's just there's two of you. That's why I was confused. Rit, yeah, Rit Dye is some great stuff. I'm getting kind of addicted to it. I actually was putting knives away today because I had a whole bunch out for some big group videos I've been doing for this week, and I was like, what else can I die? What else can I die? I think I may die... One or both of my CGR, one of two of the three of my CGRBs because they come with uh, gray scales. So you got four minutes left according to my clock on here. Batman says, "Can't wait for the videos this week." Going to be lots of them. Tomorrow morning is the ZT0308, and then um, you know what? At the I have two cool knives coming tomorrow, but um, I'll let you guys decide which one I review tomorrow night. My mail gets here really early in the morning, so they are arriving tomorrow, but I'm going to spend all day with them and uh, do reviews in one day so I can put out two reviews for you tomorrow. So tomorrow morning, probably like 9-ish, I'll put out the 0308 review with my hand over it. Um, I'll move my hand during the review. And then um, I'm going to do the live show again, another auction uh, for the Spiderco Automatic uh, Embassy. S35VN, and then uh, right as soon as I'm done with the live show, I will put up the review of whichever the two that you pick, which I'm going to start in three minutes once the bidding is over here. And um, you guys can choose. I'll say which two knives I have coming again, and then you guys you guys can pick. So uh, I actually got three coming, but one of them I know you, you probably won't pick. So I'm Jeremy, and so is my wife. <laughs> I wish the ZT didn't have a hole. Yeah, a lot of us do. Those hand claps are for the effort to help people in need. This charity auction is great. Thank you, Ace. I appreciate that. I do them from time to time here, but uh, like I said, I don't have a lot of money. So, but I got a lot of YouTube followers. So this is just the way I can do things. And especially right now with this whole virus thing, I guess we are allowed to say it on YouTube now, but uh, with this COVID-19 coronavirus thing, uh, it's I I don't want to leave my house uh, too much because my daughter has some respiratory issues, not severe, but enough that I'm concerned. So I can do this. So uh, $5 increments, Jeremy Bottoms. $5 increments. I really want to chime in 235 to be part of the battle, but I'm broke. Well, your name's Jeremy, so you are allowed, Jeremy Yoder. <laughs> Apparently, only people named Jeremy are allowed to bid on this right now. Hey, my old man, you see how you going, man? We are, so we have two minutes left on the bidding for the Spyderco Manix 2 in Rex 45. And uh, it is up to uh, $230 to one of the Jeremy's, to Jeremy Russell. Jeremy Bottoms, there we go. Yeah, I'm sorry, I, I made him upset. Somebody. So Jeremy Bottoms, 235, 235. Congratulations, Jeremy. All Jeremy's matter. <laughs> this auction has turned out to be a lot more fun than the other. If somebody not named Jeremy sneaks in at the last second and grabs it, I'm going to laugh for days for days. And keep in mind, I'm on some lag here. So um, I'm going to let it go to 8.51 my time. Uh, but it's it's 8.30. But th this is not, not I'm going a little past, not to 8.51, a little past, a little past uh, 8.50 because um, I'm on some lag. So I'm going to say over here when bidding is closed, but um, I'm going to keep looking at stuff. So um. Everyone's gonna bid change your YouTube name to Jeremy. <laughs> it's a knife style. It's 
uh, you folks worry about the wrong thing. Change your logo. What's next? Legislating the length of your shovel handle. I don't know what that was in reference to. Um, the streaming quality has been great for. Yeah, I'm running it over my uh, my actual 5G instead of putting it on the Wi-Fi's. So we have right now. It is 8:50 right now. So I am calling it to uh, Jeremy Bottoms at. $235, but we're going to wait just a second because I'm on a bit of lag. So this is me saying it's over. So I'm watching my hand and watching your bids. So, all right, there we go. Jeremy Bottoms. I didn't, why didn't I think about the hand wave before thing? It always gets confusing. I'm just going to do the hand wave thing from now on. That was so much easier. So congratulations, Jeremy Bottoms and uh, Jeremy Russell. You are the backup bid, so Jeremy Bottoms, please email me like tootsweet at uh, slicydicey75 at gmail.com. I will send you payment instructions, and thank you, thank you, thank you very much, and uh, thanks for helping out a great charity. And also, thank you for bringing the super chat. That's still open. We're going to be for another 10 minutes or so. You guys have already kicked in, what, 64 bucks? So I'm going to keep track of that to make sure that when I get paid from YouTube, I can kick that over to them as well. So yeah, anything on the super chat all week long, we're going to be live tonight, obviously, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And then uh, we are uh, kicking all that over to Food Link New York to help out the kids that can't get to school to get their free lunches because that sucks. I mean, I have an 18-year-old daughter. She's not on free lunches, and I know, like, she's 18. I can leave her alone and all that stuff. It still is, like, it's a thing for us, you know, and these families that just, like, they didn't notify everybody until Saturday afternoon that schools are closed indefinitely, and it's... I know a lot of us were expecting it, but still, it's just, man, figuring out child care and all that stuff. My wife's job's shutting down indefinitely. Um, she works at a Jewish community center, and um, that's shutting down indefinitely, and it's just a whole lot uh, going on for everybody. But luckily, she has a backup job. She's actually going to be nannying for some of the people that can't drop their kids off at the JCC, so uh, we're going to be okay. Um like I said, my daughter I'm slightly concerned about because she has some respiratory things, but I'm perfectly healthy. My wife's perfectly healthy. My son's indestructible. Uh, he's a 21 year old, six foot five dude. He'll be fine. Uh, but um, I'm just, uh, I think he's so tall, he rises above above it. But I just, I just want to do something to help out some people who are in need right now. So it sucks. Um, and Bottoms won this one, but the Spidey Chef is mine. <laughs> that is the, I just love that that sentence. Bottoms won this one. You had me this time, Bottoms. I really hope that's your real name. And if it is, I it's okay for me to mock it a little bit because my last name, Brian Ball. I've, I've heard all of them. Thank you, Mom Aaron EDC. Thank you very much. We all definitely have to look out for each other. Definitely. From a distance and wash your damn hands. But yeah, um, it's uh it's a it's a very weird time. I don't even know. I was talking to my wife about it today. I don't even know if I call it scary. That's not the emotion that I feel. It's just weird. It's just really weird. Um, I've never experienced anything like this. Like the last time I can remember this is 9-11, but 9-11, there was, I felt a lot more fear. This time it's not fear. It's just like, I don't know what's going to happen. I just have no idea what's going to happen. Um, I do have something exciting coming up too. Uh, I'm not going to have it this week. It'll be probably a month before I get them, but I'm getting some custom scales for my Hinderer Jurassic while we're talking about Hinderers. Uh, I, this was green. I dyed it. This re, It looks black on camera, but it's really, really dark gray um, with almost a slight tinge of brown coming through. I like the look of it, but uh, I got the custom scales made for the smock, which I don't remember where I put my smock. My Spiderco smock, not my thing I used to paint in the third grade. There it is. Third grade art class reference. That's the only kind of top-notch entertainment that you find here on Slice Dice channel. Thank you very much, Keith. I very much appreciate that. Very generous of you. Um, uh, this is made by Sharp Dress Knives. This custom micarta scale. Very, very pretty. I'm getting the same scale for this and also a marble carbon one. I didn't want to get anything too crazy fancy because this is my kind of user hinderer. It is the hinder I carry the most since I got it. It's just great. Um, that's why I didn't want anything too crazy that was going to make it more expensive that I wouldn't want to carry it. But, oh. John H. says, I spent so much on customizing knives. That's 
I, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. No, I'm not. I'm not really. I've, I've had Knives of Custom Scales before. It's not the first ones on the Custom Scales, but I normally don't customize stuff. But then I got in the writ dyeing stuff. That's fun. I just like doing it. I just find it relaxing and it's kind of artsy. So I do enjoy it. But, uh, and these scales just kind of dropped to my lap, honestly. Somebody asked, asked a guy, asked Sharp Dress Knives if they thought they should make me some. So he messaged me and I got them. But, uh, then I saw he does a lot of hinders and I said, Hey, can you do a Jurassic? And I said, do you want me to send my, send you mine? He said, no, actually, I, I don't want one anyway. I'm just going to buy one. And then I'll, because it'll take me three to four weeks to do the prototyping. And then I'll send it off to you. So really cool. Um, what's better, marbled carbon fiber or shredded carbon fiber? It's just aesthetic. It's which one you like. Stay safe, Ocon. See you later, man. Um, yeah, I like the micarta scales, too. That's why I said I want these exact ones for this. This is just the prettiest micarta I've ever seen. And then everybody says, oh, is going to age in the oils, and you'll get all the patina on it. I won't because my hands don't sweat. I'm a freakazoid, so nothing ever changes. Copper scales, all that stuff, never changes. See you, Keith. Thank you very much for your help tonight. Luckily, you didn't have to do anything. We only had one jackass, and I caught it. So, uh, but thanks a lot. And, um, oh, I thought Keith was leaving. Or Zach leaving. Who's leaving? I don't even know who's leaving anymore. Um, but, yeah, I really want these on this. Because it is a bit aggressive on the G10. I don't need it to be that aggressive. But, yeah. Brian No Sweats. That's what they call me. I'm not leaving. I like to mispronounce things like that when people partially capitalize. Zach's leaving. So bye, Zach. I was on his live stream today for a while. Um, I don't know what's going on. I thought someone was leaving and nobody left. It's like one of those parts. It's like most of my parties. Yeah, I made Keith the moderator tonight. I don't know. I'm trying to do all these. Um, I never had another moderator before. This is my first time having one. I know Keith well. I trust him to do it. Uh, I really want these charity auctions to go well because it's for such a good cause. So I thought I'd bring a bring a um, bring a moderator in to give me a hand. So um, we only had one jackass, and uh, I was looking right at it when it was happening. So who comes on and makes fake bids on an auction? Grow up. I hope he's still watching. I hope he doesn't. Well, he does, I guess, because I said I did. I should have even said that I block him. But that thing is hiding user is so much fun because they don't know they're hidden. And they're still just chatting away or commenting away. And they don't even know. It's so much fun. A million dollars. Don't make me get it out, John. Don't make me swing the band hammer again. I have a bad back. I'm an old man. I'm going to be 45 on April 28th, guys. April 28th, 45. And I am tr still aiming for 15,000 subs by my birthday. That is a big goal of mine. I would be, that's all I want for my birthday. So get on your mother's computer and make her a YouTube account. Get on and just follow me. I want to get, I want to get uh, to April 28th. Or I want 15,000 very badly. That's all I want for my birthday. Mild Mayor EC, oh, you're April 28th also? You know who else was born on April 28th, Mild Manor EDC? Is uh, Saddam Hussein. That is someone we share our birthday with. Brian J is my role model. Ugh, I'm sorry, BD. You need to try harder. Um, yeah, uh, April 28th, how I how I know that... Another April 28th. How I know that Saddam Hussein has an, the birthday on April 28th is I was sitting around watching Gulf War coverage, and... Um, <laughs> <laughs> they were saying, tanks are in Baghdad, rolling down April 28th Boulevard. I go, oh, huh? And I looked up at it, and then it says, named after and named after uh, Saddam Hussein's birthday. And I was like, oh, man. Why do I have to have that? At least it wasn't Hitler, I guess, or Pol Pot, but it's not far off. Any news on the Rochester meetup, Jack Thurper? Uh, they definitely want to do it. Who knows what's going on? I'm aiming for August sometime, so. Um, sorry, I missed the rules. Was reading to my in reading the comments. How do I play Jeremy Bottoms? I don't know what you're talking about. Um, still have the Best Tech Showdown. I don't, but only because they have a similar knife coming out. It's not Best Tech, but Todd Knife and Tool has a, have a similar knife coming out. So um, I wanted to get that. I can't remember what it's called. The flipperless thing. So the Showdown is great, though. Oh, pay for the auction. Uh, you didn't win. Jeremy Russell came in in the last minute, didn't he? Yeah. 
I think Jeremy Russell, who, whoever won, I don't remember who won now. I got to go back and watch my own video. Email me, sliceitice75 at gmail.com. Oh, Jeremy Bottoms won. You did win. I'm sorry. Yeah, I remember now. I did write it down. Yeah, uh, just email me, sliceitice75 at gmail.com, and I will, uh, I will uh, send you payment instructions. It's not hard. It's it's a pretty simple email, a pretty simple payment instruction. So, <laughs> um, I'm sorry, I got confused by who went there for a second. You two Jeremy's going back and forth. It's utterly confusing. I'm still not sure you're not clones. I'm going to need pictures of you in two separate places with newspapers in front of you of the current day. They found Saddam in the spider hole on your birthday. Oh, nice. Uh, next table sale is when? I forgot. I'm not sure, Bionic Man. I'm not really sure. So I was planning on early May to raise money for Blade Show, but I don't know. If it starts looking more and more like that's not going to happen, then I'm going to do one sooner. Because I've kind of got a lot of knives piling up that I'm planning to do a big, giant, you know, um, sale before Blade Show. But um, what is the that hinder? Which one? Oh, I put the other one away. This is a half-track Warncliffe. This is a uh, USMA Blade exclusive. Okay, just no, definitely. I will let you guys know. And if you want early access to my knife sales, uh, Patreon is always a good way. Any all Patreon supporters get twenty four hours early advance notice. So, I'm F oh Freak Show EDC on IG. I don't know about. Do I follow you, Jeremy? I know I see you on here all the time, but I don't know if I follow you on the Instas or not. I try to follow back most people that follow me, but I miss lots. Um, all right, we're going to wrap it up because only simply because I'm doing three more of these this week. So I'm going to run out of things to talk about. Probably, maybe not. I think by the end of the week, I'm just be standing here doing my act. <laughs> so, and that's not going to be fun for anybody. Um, so, uh, I'm also the one that always asks you questions about your dream WRX. Oh yeah. Yeah. I want a bug eye hatchback at the moment, but ask me tomorrow and I want a different one. So I'm not going to do the act. Uh, when's the SBR auction? Never, 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 never. I, I made the mistake of selling it once. I'm not going to do it again because um, I live in New York, so it's kind of hard to get my hands on one. Hope you guys really enjoy this, and thank you all so much for being so generous. We raised $79 on the Super Chat and uh, 235 uh, auctioning off this knife, so that's what... $314 if I can do math. So thank you guys so much. My goal for the week is to earn a thousand. I really want to give them a thousand bucks on the 21st when because the super chat money I don't get till the 21st. So I really want to go to Food Link and give them a grand, you know, or pay them a grand online or whatever, you know, on the 21st. So uh, I think we're well, 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 well on our way there. So I uh, really do appreciate it. John, I see your question about the giant mouse Iona. I'll bring it out for the live show tomorrow. Yes, I have been. It's a pretty cool knife. Um, I like it a lot, a lot. So thank you guys again so, so much. See most of you hopefully tomorrow night. We had, was 136 I saw was the peak here. So really appreciate that. I've been Brian. Have a good one, everybody. Stay safe. Wash your damn hands.